Hello everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today for another Stampin' Sunday video. This is Laura Buchler of Inky Fingers Paper Crafting, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Nanaimo, BC. Today I've got a terrific 3D gift project to show you. This is a project that I cased from Allison Solvin. And I love it because it uses a full sheet of 12 by 12 inch designer series paper and you get to see both sides of the paper in the finished project. So today I'm using the Rings of Love designer series paper, uh, which you can get for free with your $60 purchase until August 31st. It's in your celebration brochure. So before we get started, let's take a closer look at all the designs on this gorgeous paper pack. Now, when you're choosing paper to use for this project, make sure you choose a piece where you like the designs on both sides. And I suggest non-directional is best because of the way this project is going to come together with the way the folds are done. So take your piece of paper and score along one side at two inches, five and three quarter inches, six and a quarter inches, and ten inches. Then rotate and score along the other side at two and a half inches and at eight and a quarter inches. Burnish all of your folds with your bone folder. Now, before you start folding, let's take a second to make sure we have the paper oriented properly. You have one direction with four score lines. Those should be running vertically across the top. And the other direction has two score lines. Those should be running horizontally along the sides. So we'll start by folding in all of the corners to meet those horizontal score lines and burnish with your bone folder as you go. Once you've got your four corners folded, check again to make sure you have your four score lines running vertically. Then fold in the two inch strips on each side. The shape you make should be symmetrical at this point. Next, flip over your whole piece of paper. Now, we're gonna fold in the bottom piece and the top piece. One of these will be wider than the other. That's no problem. You can tuck the corner of that wider piece right inside to keep the project folded. Once you've folded your remaining two score lines, it's really going to start to look like a folio or a book. Now, this is an origami fold, so it doesn't technically need any adhesive. But if you'd like to use some adhesive to make it a bit tighter, I'll show you where to put that. Additionally, you're going to see me using some cardboard that comes in the DSP package to give the whole project more strength. Now the book folio is complete. Let's make up a couple of note cards quickly to put inside. A simple strip of designer series paper and a slightly wider strip of cardstock, then we'll add a sentiment stamp for the final touch. Thank you. 
On this card, I'm using a sentiment from Inspired Thoughts. On this card, I'm using a sentiment from Heron Habitat. Now I'll pop these cards and envelopes right inside the folio. You can actually fit three cards and envelopes inside. Now I'm going to decorate the front of the folio. I've stamped an image on Parakeet Party cardstock, and I'll cut it out with the coordinating dies. I'm also going to cut out a label shape using a die from the same set. All of these are from the Nature's Prints bundle. I'm going to tie my folio closed with some twine. When I add my floral shape, I'll be sure to set two of the mini dimensionals right on top of my twine. That way, when I untie the twine to open the folio, the twine will stay right where I left it. All finished. Now wouldn't that make a lovely hostess gift or a thank you gift for any occasion? And there is my finished project. Remember that you'll get a chance to win when you share this video from my public Facebook page. Leave a comment below to let me know that you've shared, and maybe I'll be sending you one of these cards in the mail. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I really appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please drop me a comment below and let me know what you think. And if there's something specific that you'd like to learn about, just ask. Remember that you can purchase all the products shown on my website, inkyfingers.ca, where you'll also find all the current catalogs, current promotional details, my events calendar, lots of tutorials and videos, and the sign up for my email newsletter. Have a great day, everyone, and happy stamping. Bye!